a short amount of time will damage not only your hair follicle but the physical attributes of your hair. All right, boo, so this is part two of the top 10 things that you're doing that is destroying your hair or damaging your hair's texture. So I already did my whole long spiel about hair scripts and who we are, what we do, all of that. Subscribe to the channel, comment down below if you have any questions and let's just jump right in. So this is obviously number six, but we're gonna say number one because it's video number two is holding on to split ends. Okay, sis, so I talked about this in my retention video, my left length retention and how to grow your hair past the plateau. Yes, do not over cut your ends, right? Do not, because you're obviously constantly cutting your ends because you have poor hygiene or poor, not poor hygiene, poor hygiene practices or poor practices in between washes. And that's why you have to constantly split, cut your ends. But then there's another reason that you should cut your ends is when you start to see that breakage is because you have split ends, sis. And it means that you need to part ways with your split ends, say goodbye, chuck the deuces to your split ends, they're dead, okay? Now, while I told you everything that you should do so that you don't have to chuck the deuce, once it's time to let it go, honey, just let go of that toxicity and move on with your life. You're only welcoming good things. So that's number one. Stop holding on to split ends when it's time to let them go. Number two is, which should have been number one, is your scalp health. Like I said, here at Hair Scripts, we're all about scalp health and hair health. We care more about maintaining a healthy, thriving scalp than we care about just making sure you have a dope behind or dope ass twist out or wash and go. Those things are secondary. But while we're on the topic, regardless of what's going on, if your scalp is susceptible to build up, if your hair follicles are clogged up, if there's so much oil going on or sebum production or over clogginification, and that's not a word of your scalp, sis, you gotta forget about worrying about the hair down here really quickly and focus on that scalp. Once you get that pH balance, that blood circulating, the nutrients flowing, and all the other things, and that pH balance and everything doing what it needs to do, then you can focus on making sure that your hair texture is correct. Let's put our priorities in order, okay? Hey, baddie, so it's your girl, Bevy, and listen, if you don't know, I had to interrupt what you were watching because I have to tell you, there's a lot of y'all that are new to this channel and I have to put you on to game. If your hair is thinning, if you have thinner hair, if your hair is shedding, falling, breaking, you cannot figure out what's going on. Wash day sucks, your ponytails are getting thicker, thinner, excuse me, and your parts are widening. Listen, you need to go, not, no, you need to run, not walk to the description box and get your hands on the Hearst Grips Medicated Hair Growth Serums. My baddies have tried it and they spoke and they love it, okay? You cannot find this anywhere else. You can't get it at Target. You can't get it at Wally's World. You cannot get it at Ulta Sephora, Houston, Atlanta, Vegas. You cannot get it anywhere, okay? You can only get it at HearstGripsRx.com in the description box. Why? Because I have 10 plus years of experience in the healthcare and pharmaceutical industries. I understand drug formulations. I understand ingredients that are clinically proving to be effective to work to do the things that needs to be done your girl was diagnosed with androgenetic alopecia aka female pattern hair loss and i struggled with thinning and my hair is like i should have had it out but listen it's thriving so if you want thriving hair if you tried everything you tired of wasting your money that's it that's it that's it <laughs> i am your angel <laughs> i am your fairy hairy godmother go down to the description box girl and and boys and gals and everybody go down down to the description box and get your hands on the Hearst Scripps Medicated Hair Growth Serum. Don't let me say it again. Number three, not checking the ingredients in your hair products. We have a video on our channel talking about the 10 worst ingredients in your hair care products. Please check that out. Check that video out. It's telling you the top 10 ingredients that you should not have in your natural hair care products. But the problem is we just buy things because someone told us an influencer said buy it, it works. Or we buy things because they make our hair look amazing, but they're doing absolutely nothing for the health of our scalp, or it's actually destroying or breaking down the bonds in your hair while it's making it look better. I know, right? I mean, among the other things, like there are cat cancer causing agents and ingredients and chemical burns and all that other extra stuff, just the simplest, simplest thing that you should remember is 
read the stuff on your ingredient package just whatever it's the same as the equivalent of looking at the nutritional facts you're not just gonna eat something without haphazardly knowing what's in it right well some of us right and most of us need to make that lifestyle change where we actually look at the nutritional facts on our on our package labels right same thing with the packages and the ingredients right stay away from sulfates stay away from parabens that's all the obvious but there's those hidden ingredients that we don't know those hidden silicones those hidden chemicals that are not only breaking and damaging your hair but it's causing overall damage to your hair follicle which we care mostly about here at hair scripts okay moving on to number four again harsh chemicals number three and number four are almost the same as far as the ingredients but as far as the chemicals themselves there are chemicals not necessarily in your hair care products but chemicals in your life that you're using you want to reduce kind of like your toxic footprint right if you're doing so many things that are increasing the chemical buildup on your scalp then sis you are damaging your scalp and overall damaging your hair there's bleaching there's perming there's dying those are just the obvious things and then there's a whole host of other things that we do there's chemicals in the hair weaves and the hair extensions and the things that we put on that is seeping into our our follicles that is causing damage i know who wants to think about that when you just want to look cute okay i get it i get it but then don't come well come crying please come crying here to hair scripts link down below hairscriptsapp.com you can cry all you want and we will plug you to the person that's going to help you but at the end of the day don't say you don't know if we're trying to show you that these things over time will have harsh harsh impact on your hair but there's just certain things that is not really over time a short amount of time will damage not only your hair follicle but the physical um, attributes of your hair and then last but not least over manipulation and tight hairstyles tight hairstyles are ripping the hair out of your follicles period period sis i love to straighten my hair and we know heat can be a problem and so i know that i'm doing it at my own risk but I also know that I'm a baddie and I wanna switch it up. She doesn't wanna look the same every single day. And it's the same for you. If your thing is braids, if your thing is extensions, if your thing is sew-ins and glue-ins and tape-ins and whatever ends you do to your hair to give you the body body that you want and so that you can walk down the red carpet of your life feeling like you are that celebrity, then sis, do it. But do everything in moderation. And like I said in previous videos, in many videos before, with any of those things, I'm not keeping them in my head for three months, for two months. Hell, I'm not even going a month. If I'm doing something in my hair to go away and I'm going on a vacation and I want my hair to just be a certain way, I'm gonna do what I need to do for that vacation when I get back, I'm taking it out. If I want braids for pictures, I'm taking it out. Usually when I do something, I'll keep it in for three days, a week, Two weeks is a lot for me, honey. It really is. And I know what you're thinking, but it costs a lot of money. I'm going to get my dollars worth. Yeah, yeah, you do that. And then you're going to lose money on the back end when you're paying for treatments, hair loss treatments, because now you've jacked up your, your hair follicles and you bruise them to the point where you're literally permanently bald. Pay now, pay later, girl. It's all up to you. Me, I'm going to take it out after a week. If it's not straining my hair, if it's not something that is like really pulling and tugging, I might go two weeks, but for the most part, I'm taking it out after a week because usually when that takedown comes down and you, that hair is shedding, that hair shedding is real. And if you see the little white bulbs, sis, that's not healthy shedding. It's not supposed to shed like that. That is you ripping your hair literally out of your hair follicles. I've said what I had to say. I'm done on that. This is the shortest video that I've ever done in my life, y'all. I'm getting better. I'm learning how to get straight to the point and not just go off into tangents like I'm doing right now. Anyway, subscribe to the channel if you want to release your inner baddie at 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, honey. Live your best life. If you want this beauty script or the hair script, the script, the prescription for your beauty, for your hair care needs, girl, click on the link down below, hairscriptsapp.com. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, all them other places, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, with all the different things that you can do. But nonetheless, just be a part of the community and learn what you need to do, okay? Thank you.